Well, the day we all knew would eventually come is finally here. Heroes and Generals is officially dead. Hello there. I am that one guy that is a bit of a lunatic and you all know why we're here. About a week ago, I got news of a few picks that showed up on the TLM website teasing a World War II game that is made on a new engine. And not long after that, I heard that Rito Hades, uh, excuse me, TLM Hades teased a possible huge announcement on Tuesday. Unfortunately, I was away on Tuesday and I didn't have access to the internet. So when I finally came back online on Wednesday, I was about bombarded by DMs and messages as if it was World War 3. It must have took me at least half an hour just to get through all of them. But when I finally did, that's when I found out that apparently TLM released a bombshell announcement trailer that left the entire community in shock. Now, here is the thing. Normally, I like to make my videos so that they have a light tone. You get to hear some info that maybe you didn't know before, or maybe you did know it, but you still get the satisfaction of having it shared with the rest of the community without being silenced or censored. And I try to deliver that info in a funny, sarcastic package as well as I can, cause let's face it, covering and making videos about a game like HNG means that there is pretty much no good news ever. So if that's the case, then you might as well get a good laugh out of it. Well, this time I'm not really sure how I should explain this, so I will try to frame it as plainly as possible. This is simply put, the stupidest, laziest, most pathetic attempt at a cash grab I have ever seen. This is like trying to rob a bank using only a spoon with a blindfold on. It's like trying to fix a broken leg with flex tape. Like trying to do actual magic with a magic marker. This is like invading a country for their oil, but it's only vegetable oil. This is the BitConnect of video game crypto apps. It's the Fallout 76 of Battle Royales. It's the lemon juice of racing tractor fuel. This is the Disney live action remake of the nuclear holocaust. It's something that is stupid, doesn't make sense, shouldn't exist, but it does anyway, so here we are. From the very first two seconds, my eyebrow was raised. They chose to lead with the freaking Winston Churchill speech. A choice that gets a lot worse in retrospect, once you realize what this cluster f*** really about. We are first greeted by the TLM CEO, who then proceeds to flex on them haters with the company's previous experiences working on big games with huge studios. Of course, he doesn't actually say what they worked on specifically, or if said work was done by his actual company or just by individuals that started working for him afterwards and all of that becomes completely redundant anyways the instance they start showing the actual gameplay footage because guess what about all the stuff shown in that trailer are just cheap assets and templates of the unreal marketplace they didn't even bother working on their own weapon models or altering the ui i guess lord ui guy is not out of his hibernation for the winter yet they managed to take their minimum wage work standards and dip even below that this entire tech demo was probably thrown together with like three four hundred bucks of unreal marketplace place assets. So much for your outstanding team and world-class game engineers. So after the flexing, the fake clout, then comes the really confusing part. Apparently, TLM knew all along that the HNG Retox engine had no future. They knew that the game would be dead sooner or later, and yet they kept on pumping out battle passes every few months for the past year and did nothing else. They gladly took players' money for the past year, knowing they would eventually pull the plug, and that's by their own admission in their own trailer. And now they have the audacity to ask for even more money. A lot more money. They started a Kickstarter campaign asking for the minimum of three million dollars. Three million dollars at minimum. Three million at its absolute peak as a game with over 8,000 players playing it on average, the most HNG managed to make in a fiscal year was about 3 million euros. You are now asking the community to generate about the same amount in half the time, with less than 1600 players on average. But wait, it gets even better. If they don't reach their target within the next 6 months, they will pull the plug on HNG and take it off life support. But wait, it gets even more better. Even if by some f***ing miracle they do manage to reach their target of, I repeat again, 3 million dollars, they still pull the plug on HNG, cause the new game would not be a straight port, and therefore all current players would lose all their progress, time, and or money they already spent on the game. Which in some cases is thousands of hours or tens of thousands of dollars, or both. And these people are just supposed to accept that this, killing the game, is the best possible course of action. Source? Trust me bro. Not only that, but they also somehow somehow expect these people to back the new game with even more money. 
And um, that's about the time confusion started assaulting my brain. Uh, excuse me, Mr. TLMM, but what exactly is the upside of this deal for the current players? If you don't reach your goal, the game dies. If you do reach your goal, the game still dies. It's like they have a family member of yours taken hostage and they ask you for a ransom, a $3 million ransom. And then they tell you that even if you do pay, they will still not give him back. Instead, they will give you this guy. His name is Todd with a T. And he is a little bit slow, so you're gonna have to be patient with him. Todd likes long walks on the beach, chasing cats on the streets, pineapple and banana pizzas and yellow snow. What the f*** are you guys smoking? What the hell kind of business school did you mega brains go to to come up with this f deal? I mean, who would ever be interested in this trade? Give you money now so you can kill the game we like inside six months to work on another game that won't even be out before 2024 at the earliest. A game that will most probably be only FPS and has no RTS at the first release. I mean, I am really struggling here to find the upside for us players. You're probably wondering what you're going to get. Oh, first to tell people what they are going to get. Well, for starters, it's not going to be a straight port. Proceeds to tell them what they will not be getting instead. These people are f***ing trolling. A lot of people have been asking me what I think about this announcement. Well, I say there is delusion and then there is this sh there is no way they are reaching that target. What incentive is there for current players to give you a single penny? Writing their name on a digital wall? Even the Kickstarter backer rewards are a joke. What the f*** is this? Access to the closed beta? Discord rolls? Forum badges? All this stuff screams that the game is gonna be a free to play anyways and will be built from the ground up as the perfect embodiment of microtransaction pay to win bullshit. Something that was confirmed by Hades, by the way, the game will be free to play. If it's gonna be free to play anyways, why are you asking for money to begin with? And speaking of the money, why the hell do you need so much of it? $3 million is a ridiculous number. There are dozens of games, better games, that were made with far less. Hell It Loose, Divinity Original Sin, Super Hot, Shovel Knight, Darkest Dungeon, and Wasteland 2, and so many more games, with Hell It Loose being the closest thing to this situation. Their developers only asked for about 130k. I refuse to believe the TLM doesn't really see that what they're asking for is impossible, which leaves only one logical explanation. Over a year ago, TLM saw an opportunity to buy a game with over a thousand people playing it on average. The game's company was riddled with debt, which meant they could acquire it for scraps, probably. It was a very good opportunity for them to expose their very new name and brand to thousands of people. After all, they didn't really do anything other than taking over the game's management. They fired a few people and even though we kept hearing about hiring new devs here and there, the only one we ever saw was a new community manager that was let go three months later after showing signs of caring about what the community wants and listening to veterans. Meanwhile, the game saw absolutely no progress for the whole year. Same old value adjustments every update with minimum effort. And of course, the battle passes every few months. Gotta milk the community for all they've got. When they realized they were not making all the money in the world, they decided to pull the plug. But of course, if they do that straight away, it doesn't look good on the record so instead they make this joke of a trailer done yet again with minimum effort ask for this ridiculous amount of money and when they don't reach it because of course they won't they will say oh well at least we tried our best but the trash talking toxic community didn't support us all the while they are still selling gold as we speak right now in a game that they know is doomed and they've known that all along throughout the whole year they were in charge all the while they heavily took people's money to quote keep the game alive even though the servers we play on cost them less than 10 cents on every dollar they make. And now we are supposed to just trust them and support them with 3 million dollars or else. Well, call me crazy, but I just don't trust you or a single person from the old Ritu team with 3 dollars, forget about 3 million. If you really are serious about wanting the game to succeed, then you should be making it on your own dime. If the game is good enough, then people will show up and support you, like they've always done with the old game when it first came out. But in this day and age where sadly video games as an industry has little to no regulation. When a developer can ask people for money promising to deliver something, fail to deliver it for 10 years, then use the funds they received to fire off lawsuits from disgruntled players, Mr. TLM, buddy, you're gonna have to do a lot better than trust me, bro.